if you're already considering leaving LA and moving to Florida, here's the reasons why you should do it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know that this conversation is pretty big right now and I am just one of the many people who left LA to either move to Florida or Texas. I just wanna start off this video by saying this is not me just randomly advocating for a mass move to Florida. I personally think that LA and Florida are vastly different places and speak to the average person differently when they're considering why they wanna to move to one place or the other. I actually don't personally believe that there's a strong chance somebody who really wants to move to LA will feel satisfied living in Florida because typically when you're trying to move to LA, you're going there for reasons that really only LA can offer you. But there could be people in LA right now that feel like they are missing out on certain qualities of life that LA cannot offer you that maybe somewhere like Florida can and they're possibly going through this mental process of like, do I make the move? This is something that I just went through so that's what I wanna touch on. So basically somebody who is already considering making this move and they just want to hear the thoughts from someone who's already done this, that's the person I'm making this video for. So just a little backstory, I've been living in Florida now for six months. My boyfriend and I left LA and drove across the country. We sold all of our stuff and we've been living here since and so I'm going to touch on five reasons that I think if you're already considering leaving LA and moving to Florida, here's the reasons why you should do it. The number one reason, which I'm sure all of you already know, is cost of living. So over the five years that I lived in LA, I actually lived in five different apartments and three different areas. So I lived in Northridge, which is in the valley, I lived in Hollywood, and I lived in North Hollywood. While I lived in LA, my rent alone ranged from, for a studio apartment, 1300. I'm talking like literally the size of maybe a bedroom with one window. The bed was next to the kitchen. Like if I went like this, I was touching the stove from my bed. Yeah. 1300 that was in Hollywood I also lived in a 1600 one bed one bath and an over two thousand dollars a month two bed two bath I now live in central Florida in a gigantic two bed two bath I've never lived in an apartment this big that also has a gigantic screened in patio over a golf course and a lake literally my view is a golf course and a lake and then a park right like on the park that all is for $1,100 a month. Not to mention grocery store prices are higher in LA. Gas prices are much higher in LA. Even though I only ever took Uber, I never owned a car in LA, which made things way worse. And then of course, eating out in LA is just insane. If you already live in LA, you know this, but living in LA alone is practically impossible to do financially, especially as you're just moving there. So if you want your own private living area, you better start making money in LA in whatever you want there to do fast. You better start doing that now, or you better be prepared to share your living space with roommates until likely you're in your 30s, which is culturally very normal in LA. So I say if you can find a market for what you're currently doing now in LA in Florida, you might as well make the transition if it's possible for you and save on all of those living expenses in the meantime, especially if you're already looking for something new and plus you will save on taxes. Number two for me is nature. I grew up in the Bahamas, so for me growing up on an island with nature, trees, grass, ocean, birds, everything, good oxygen around me 24 seven, it was kind of a culture shock and hard for me to transition to living in the city where there wasn't a lot of nature. It's literally a concrete jungle there, obviously. And I never realized how much having nature around me and how much oxygen that provided was doing for me growing up in the Bahamas until I got to a city and then I realized how much it meant to me. I mean, literally the air quality in LA can be smog. When you check the weather that day, it's just gonna say smog and it's so thick sometimes you can't even see the mountains on the horizon. After about three years of living in that, I actually found myself severely missing easy access to just 
grass. I literally would look at my boyfriend and be like, can we go to grass today? Can we go see grass? You do always have Santa Monica. You also have Malibu, but for the average person that's living in LA, these are like an hour drive away. And so it's not really a part of your everyday life unless you set time aside to go be in nature. And then once you get there, everybody's trying to do the same thing, especially if the weather's good. So it's pretty populated and crowded. There's obviously also parks that you can go to, but if you come from a place that is full of nature, that's more rural, rural, I can never say that word, or it's like an island or something, you know driving to a park is just not gonna fill the void I'm talking about. I literally almost needed to have a gigantic lawn as my backyard to feel fulfilled. <laughs> which I literally have in Florida now. I live on a golf course, like I said, on a lake, basically on a park. So I can look out my window, I can go outside, I can just spend time out there if I wanted to really easily and be in nature. Number three is overall cleaner environment. Let's just be real, LA is disgusting. <laughs> the amount of litter and God knows what you're walking in every five minutes on the sidewalk can be really disheartening, especially if you're trying to live in an environment like that for long periods of time. It does start to feel like you're just surrounded by a dump and living in a dump. And this is not just me sitting here bashing LA, it's a city after all. This comes pretty much with any city living, but it is the kind of small detail that you don't think about as much as you should when you're moving into that environment and then you get there and now you just kind of have to deal with it or it starts to feel like, I don't know if I wanna live in this anymore after a couple of years. It can really become one of those details that is the straw that breaks the camel's back and it was one of those for me personally. Since living in Florida, I have found areas in central Florida, including Orlando and also Tampa to be a little actually a lot better about cleanliness. I find that the average person is just more thoughtful when it comes to the next person and throwing away their trash. Okay, the fourth reason why you should move to Florida if you're considering it is just making deeper connections with people. I don't know about you, but this is, was my experience in LA. Does it ever feel like people just don't really acknowledge your presence or your existence when you're walking past them on the sidewalk or when you enter a building these are all scenarios where I was raised that you greet a person and a lot of times in LA you're met with this energy of I'm too busy right now or I'm too good to engage now this is coming from a Bahamian and everybody knows that Bahamians have to greet people at least three times when you walk into a building morning 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 good night good night good night so I know that we're on literally the other extreme but I just think that it's nice to acknowledge someone when they walk past you or when they walk in a room and for me this kind of got offensive a little bit. I also met a friend from Atlanta in acting class. We met in LA and she had the exact same thoughts. So I know that this is something that comes with more Southern roots and a Southern upbringing, which Bahamians have similar roots and background um, in terms of our like slave ancestors and the way we were raised. So. I find that I bonded with people that were actually from the South when it comes to the customs with greeting people. And so that's something in LA that you probably miss out on. So if you're looking for something more than the average small talk or making the fake best friend every time you go to a new party in LA, you will be able to find more meaningful, thoughtful, and deeper connections in a place like Florida. Okay, so the fifth and final reason that I think you should move to Florida is just to get out of your box and to open your mind. We tend to have stereotypes when it comes to living in the South. And as a minority, there are certainly a lot of reasons that you should be hesitant to move just all anywhere and sometimes even Florida. But I do want to speak for the places that I don't think get enough good rep coming out of Florida. Personally, I have found areas like Orlando and St. Petersburg and I know Miami to be very diverse in their communities. There is a lot of Hispanic culture, there is a lot of Caribbean culture, there is a lot of LGBTQ plus communities. I was pleasantly surprised driving around Orlando, some places in Central Florida, closer to where I'm at, and St. Petersburg, that during Pride Month, there, it was littered with pride flags. And that just made me so happy to see 
And so I do want people to know that are coming from a place that is more progressive, like LA, that there are pockets of that that you will find in Florida as well that you can form bonds with. Ultimately, all of these reasons fit the time of life that I'm in. They're all subjective and they're all super personal. This is just my experience and I wanted to share it in case anybody out there had this thought on their mind and was looking for this type of information. This video was definitely not made to bash LA because there are certainly so many wonderful and unique things that LA has to offer that Florida does not, but that's not what this video is about. And likely if you disagree with any of the opinions that I have, or if this video doesn't speak to you at all, then you probably already know what those wonderful things about LA are. I just want to end this video by saying if you are looking for a change and if moving to Florida is something that has been on your heart, then I say give it a shot if you can make it work. Sometimes all that we know is that we need a change of pace and I always say follow with that instinct. Ultimately, it's always good to explore out of our comfort zones and do things that are different and challenge us even if we're afraid of the unknown. I know that I was and I'm super glad that I made the shift, especially if it's something that we can do while we're young. Young, I'm happy that I'm challenging myself in this way and it's never too late to try something new and to expand ourselves. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I also do a lot of beauty, lifestyle, and fashion content. If you can, make sure you give me a like. It really helps out my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.